Uh, hi friends, uh, today we'll be talking about how to drive a car. Yeah, you must be all knowing how to drive a car, but I will be giving you some technical tips or reasons uh, why some stuff we are doing inside the vehicle, why is it important and uh, how it reflects in its working. So let's uh, let's go and enter the car. Um, in India we have a, a right hand drive vehicle, but if we go abroad we'll be having left hand drive vehicles and this is an um, manual transmission vehicles. In automatic transmission vehicles uh, there will be only high and low, there will be no gears, but here this is the manual transmission vehicle so we need to adjust the gears for the drive. So let's move. Uh, we have a steering over here, uh, so this is a steering over here. This is the ignition key and we have uh, three pedals in the bottom. These are the controls of our manual transmission. Uh, vehicle normally it will be having a clutch but uh, for automatic transmission uh, vehicle we don't uh, require to have uh, a clutch in place so this is for starters a b c that is accelerator brake and clutch a for accelerator b for brake and c for clutch so you can remember it that way a b c okay and let's uh, sit inside the vehicle so we have the gears over here this is the gear lever so this is first gear second gear third gear fourth gear fifth gear and uh, this is the reverse okay and uh, towards the left hand side you can see the parking brake uh, now the parking brake is on release the parking brake now the parking brake is not here just to engage the parking brake we have lift uh, the lever upwards so the parking brake is on so um, here you can see the f uh, three levers over here accelerator brake clutch that is a b and uh, c okay uh, for starting the vehicle you can just uh, put the ignition key on uh, just uh, putting the ignition key on you can start the vehicle okay now the vehicle uh, is uh, on the start position actually we are not starting it but uh, we'll be giving you tips uh, how it functions so let's go uh, towards the clutch so when the vehicle is start you must uh, have the uh, levers in neutral so if the lever is in neutral you can see it can be moved to both the directions so let's engage in first gear see it cannot move in both the directions so it is tight over here second gear it cannot move in both directions that means the lever is in neutral it can move in both directions so when we start a vehicle we must put the lever in um, neutral that means uh, the drive coming uh, from the engine uh, will not go towards the rear wheels okay when it is in a neutral position so uh, it will just take an over by the gearbox but it not be transferred towards the rear wheel so uh, when you start a vehicle it is the safest way to start it so also check that um, you have put the parking brake on if the parking brake is on just uh, press this and release the parking brake so now the vehicle is not on a parking brake so now easy to easy to be right so now just on the ignition key and uh, put the gear towards the first first gear so before uh, doing that okay now the clutch uh, is engaged that means the engine is engaged with the gearbox by the clutch so we need to push the clutch lever down now the engine is disengaged uh, from the gearbox this means that at this position even though it is in first gear the drive from the engine will not be transmitted to the gearbox that means the, uh, if the engine drive is not transmitted to the gearbox that drive will not be reaching the rear wheels that means the engine will be simply rotating and the power will not be transmitted uh, towards the gearbox when the clutch is uh, disengaged at this position when we are not pushing the clutch down that means the clutch is in engaged position so when we put the first gear engage uh, disengage the clutch and put the first gear so what happens uh, when we start a vehicle from the rest uh, the tire will have the maximum resistance at this point that means if the engine has to move the vehicle it has to take all the resistance of the tire that means that much torque or that much drive has to be given to the rear wheels of the engine uh, means of the vehicle by the engine so uh, when we start the vehicle and we release the clutch just very fast for beginners it is always an issue uh, the vehicle uh, just starts and just knock knock up and it uh, stops it is just because they release the clutch much faster when we, they release the clutch much faster what happens that the whole resistance of this tire 
uh, uh, is acting directly on the gearbox and this gearbox is giving that uh, resistance to the engine so engine will not be having that much rpm to rotate uh, the tires by crossing uh, this uh, resistance so what he, we have to do is that when we disengage the clutch slowly engage the clutch that means when we slowly engage the clutch the engine will be able to take the small load uh, of the tires so it will slightly transmit its uh, power towards the gearbox and will start uh, the tires to rotate slowly as it rotates uh, sl slowly we can release the clutch gradually that means the engine will not uh, get uh, stopped so that's why we are normally uh, uh, slowly releasing uh, the clutch this is the technical reason behind that and i hope you understand uh, how to drive it uh, thank you